myself Santosh. I do have around nine years of experience working in IT industry. And currently I'm working as manager in Microsoft. My core experience is towards data science, data engineering and data analytics project. Currently I'm managing around eight projects and total I have worked with around 80 projects from different domains such as banking, healthcare, insurance, e-commerce and retail. And I'm a certified trainer taking training for KSR for the last five years. Hello everyone, welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In this video, we'll see a new update that has been launched in June 2023, and which is going to be very useful. So just thought uh, we can do a video on this. So the visual name is Card New. So basically like they have introduced a new card for us. And we already have a card, but uh, this is a new feature that they have added now. And uh, in this video, we'll just see what it is and we'll just explore some of the uh, use case. Now, as part of this video, I'll uh, talk about the card visual and we'll see an overview and we'll uh, jump into a practical part. So as we know about the card, which is an existing card, which you will be able to see in your Power BI desktop. So if you see in your Power BI desktop, this is the existing card that we have. And this card visual is very useful for us for most of the key value numbers. Let's say you want only to see a total sales. You want to see only total profit. You want to see only total quantity. And this is a chart which can give you more clarity in terms of the quantitative number. And not only that, you can also have a lot of other things. Like if you want to get the top one of a category wise sales or maybe a top one product. So that is also possible by using this card. But uh, if you have observed carefully right from its uh, creation, no one has touched that. OK, whatever the feature which we add in the existing card, the same card was present. But nowadays what we are doing is um, since it's a Power BI and it supports a lot of custom visuals, we are getting some custom visuals. And if I'm not wrong, the card name is called some advanced card. So which gives you more clarity in terms of designing and in terms of customization and even in terms of adding more information. It was very useful, but nowadays all the projects which they have using some of the custom charts have started falling into trap of performance issue. Nowadays, most of the projects rather than getting new requirement, we are getting a requirement of try to fix the loading issue, try to improve the performance. So that is where even Microsoft has also started working on the uh, improving the uh, default charts. And that is where now they have launched something called uh, card which is a new we'll see what is this and the use of custom charts has also been one of the reason that the reports has been degrading now as and then we will see what is this new card so if you see here if you see in the right in the last row there is a new card that has been added and in case if you don't know how you have got this or it's a recent update that has happened in june if you're not able to see it please go to preview a uh, file and please go to the options and settings. Go to the option. And once you go to the op option, go to the preview features and make sure that this is checked in. And if this is checked in, obviously, like you will be able to see the uh, visual. OK, and you can restart it. And now let's compare what you can do with a card as well as with a advanced card. OK, now this is a card. I'll be taking this card and let's say that I want to add sales here. So this is a sales. OK, and I need to add another card uh, before that I'll use the normal card itself so this is a card and this is let's say i'll add profit and i'll say another card i'll be taking quantity right so we have three cards that has been added now at the background what is happening the power bi engine is calculating as three visuals please remember one thing everyone can become a power bi developer only the effective power bi developer is the one who uses limited visuals with more information is called an effective power bi developer and now let's be effective power bi developer rather than filling with a lot of visuals so try to keep it with limited visuals with the more information and to handle this type of issues now now we have a card new which is basically if i select this card let's see what i can do i can add sales right and i can also add profit 
and I can also add quantity, right? So though it's not in the proper way. Now let's see. This gives up more clarity. Now don't consider as a three visual. It's a one visual with the three informations and you can go and always play with the formatting and you can play with your uh, however you want in terms of rectangular or if it's like any shape. All this is not at all possible in your general card, but here it is somewhat giving a more design. Right, and this is shape and the call out value. Also, you can just uh, keep it as you want in terms of your uh, labeling as well as the uh, formatting or the decimals, everything. And now come to the layout. So if I put it in the center, this is a horizontal one. If I put it in the vertical, you'll be getting in this form, right? So some of the times when you're working with the uh, report, which is like a, in a four size sheet, you will try to put it into a, a left panel side, right? This is what we do. And in fact, if you are doing this by using this type of visuals, then you have to properly arrange like this, right? You have to properly arrange like this. This is not that user friendly because you have to properly see the width between that and you have to properly see the design and you have to see the pixels. So a lot of things are there, but this is making our work easier and coming even more formatting part. Let's say I can also go and give grid wise. So this is a grid. OK, and you can decide how many columns you have. I have three columns, so this gives you a grid, right? And uh, the more things which we can do is let's come for the card and uh, we can also add some colors. Before that, I should also go and uh, adjust this in the center. Let's go for the horizontal one. Let's select the horizontal one and the call out value. If you see, let's put it in the middle one. So this is good and uh, this is all about this values and now uh, coming to the layout. As I said, right, you can either select a grid wise or you can go with horizontal or vertical and apart from that, the other thing which I can do is let's say only for the sales part, right? Only for the sales part or a profit part. What we can do is I can go to this. I can select only that sales part and I can fill the color whatever I want. Let's say for sales, let's fill it with uh, yellow possible, right? If you're filling with this one possible and let's talk about how to do it for profit. So in case if you want to do it for profit, you can go and select the profit and you can fill the any color as such. So since it's a profit, I would prefer to have a green color. Yes, right? So we can do this and the good thing about this is you can also add some images, right? You can also add some images. Let's say for that I'll go with fill. There is something called image here. I can add this image. Let's say I take this image image and uh, this image is not clear. This is card and here we do have. Yeah, here we have an again an image. There are a lot of other things as well. OK, you can have this and if you see this bar, right, you will see some bar after each one. So this is accent bar and think if you like increasing the width so you can see this bar. OK, and here if you add an image, let's say I had this image and I can adjust it and since I've selected only for uh, this sum of profit, right? It is coming only for profit. OK, and this image I can format it as I want. Let's say I fit it as a fit or I can use it as fill, right? Basically, I can avoid colorings and all. Uh, I mean, I should have choose the without background while choosing. I should have choose background without white so that it would have come. So all this we can do it. And the other thing which we can do is it gives you a good spacing. It solves the spacing issue. Like let's say if you have like this, you should properly arrange and you have to go with you have to go to view and you have to go with the grid lines and then you have to properly arrange. So all this and all is not required with this update, right? And that's where you can use this card. OK, this gives you more flexibility. But the other thing which we have observed is it has some limitation. OK, so if you say that currently the shadow and the glow effect can cause the size of all cards to change unexpectedly. Uh, let's see what is that. So let's say I have this visual and if I go to the card and if I put shadow and glow, see if I put shadow, right? It, it's actually changing. The visual is changing. OK, and the border is also something which we need to work on. See now if I don't put glow, uh, it's basically a good visual, right? The size is good, but if I sw switch on this glow, so automatically the visual is shrinking, right? And is an expected, I mean limitation. That is what even Microsoft has told from its documentation that they are working on it. And as and then we get a new update, we'll start seeing the difference here. Well, uh, I would like to uh, use this chart going forward to solve most of the time because sometimes what happens right when you're using a normal card, it takes a lot of time and it 
utilizes a lot of space and in fact right please remember one thing use of custom charts and the number of visuals used on the screen plays a major role in the performance now rather than using three visuals now i'm using one visual with three information and rather than using a, a custom chart now i'm using a default chart so this gives me a good clarity about this this visual and of course thanks so thank you so much for microsoft for coming up with this update so we'll meet you in the next video please subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed thank you